Halo 3 OGST flighting has begun. How long will this flight last and what kind of content is in it? Are there any bugs and what is the overall experience? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you that news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Helps more people get a chance to see this video to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. And just like we stated at the top of this video guys, Halo 3 ODST flighting has begun. But not just for PC, but also for Xbox. So guys, make sure you go onto Halo Waypoint, check your messages to see if you got a chance to get an invite. Especially for your Xbox player as I believe this is the first time you've had a MCC flight since the Halo Reach days back in 2019. Now I have seen this little bit of a bug where if you're invited to a previous flight and never uninstalled your Insider build, apparently you can update it and get into this flight even if you didn't receive your invite. That's what I've been hearing and what people have been kind of confirming with me on my Twitch stream which we had later last night as well. So don't give up all hope, just jump in, update your MCC Insider build and hopefully you get a chance to jump in and play. But yes, overall, just just go on the Halo Waypoint, check your messages, and that's where you'll find your code to download Halo 3 ODST and Halo 3 as well. So let's get right into all the content that's coming with this, because there is some good stuff. So here we are on the MCC Insider build, and you can see it probably grabbed your attention Season 3 content in here as well, which is kind of surprising because there's only 50 unlocks. But let's check out what we have to unlock, do a brief, brief overview so you kind of see what we're going to be looking at when it comes to uh, the different customization options we can get here, as there is Halo 3 and ODST content throughout this entire thing. So this is referred to as the recon season. As you can see, there are five different tiers you can go through. Much like you can now, you can select whatever kind of item you want within a tier, but once you select all 10 tiers, then you go on to the next one. Uh, so there are some sweet weapon camos and visor camos and uh, character unlocks you can have for ODST. As you can see, we're here we got like the orange camo, a nameplate, different visor colors. You can unlock uh, Romeo here on the first tier here and some more visor colors webbing camos and uh, romeo without the helmet and things like that each tier you go through has various different unlocks like this but each tier does have its own odst for customization when playing firefight awesome thing here check out this digital cool camo it does look awesome we'll show off all the camos later on in this video as well so make sure you stay watching the whole thing uh, next tier you get to have this uh worn out camo which looks so cool we we'll definitely have to show you guys that and then you have the mickey helmet mickey without the helmets and then next tier you obviously have some more weapon camos you get to have the flood version of bug flood version of bug without a helmet with various weapon camos and uh also name plates right there and then we have veronica at the end and then the very last tier top 50 is totally worth it because you have sergeant johnson and you also get the worn out red hazard camo which looks freaking sick uh after my first time playing I think Sergeant Johnson is basically be going to be become the new Hayabusa when it comes to player customization in Halo 3 because almost everybody was running Sergeant Johnson uh, the first night of playing the ODC Firefight. So let's jump into said camos I was talking about right here, guys. Uh, these camos are only in Halo 3. They are not in ODST, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, first off, we can check out the gold plate. We have the Dino Bite. We have the orange camo, which kind of reminds me of Half Life. This, that's just me, though. This worn out camo looks so cool, though. Look at this thing. Oh my god, that's such a cool camo. I hope they have something similar like this in Halo Infinite because that looks freaking awesome. And we've got the gold plate for the assault rifle. Uh, then all the other camos for the assault rifle, the same thing we had in CE, like this Wasteland Rust. We had the, we had this Greenland camo, which I think is unique to this one as well. Just kind of so much like a squirt gun kind of look, look to it, which is kind of fun. We have battle rifle camos. Uh, one is I think they actually updated the camo for, or the weapon skin for the battle rifle just in general which is way more detailed, a little more dirty, a little more used but also just higher res and stuff like that looks great and you have the fern stencil look right here looks pretty awesome kind of reminds me of Jurassic Park in a way which is kind of cool this looks awesome. looks awesome you might remember this from the screenshot when they were promoting the flight around this is the mean streets of new Mombasa graffiti and it does look pretty freaking awesome I like this a lot it just looks so cool kind of reminds me of like a Tony Hawk uh, pro skater like bowl that was spray painted this is the digital camo cool 
with a C, not a K, sadly. But uh, this looks pretty awesome. Kind of reminds me of like the Halo 4 uh, weapon skin. And then this one, though. Oh my god. The worn out red hazard looks so cool. Kind of reminds me of like a rusted, like Gears of War kind of camo to the whole thing. But when you look at this in game, it's so much more vibrant and colorful. It looks so cool. Now, with character customization, it's all pretty much the same stuff, except you have visor color changes you can click on right here. And obviously, you can look it through all these different kind of visor colors. Pretty self explanatory. This groovy one looks so cool with this armor, my black and red armor set I rock with this uh, Hill 3 Spar. And look at that. Oh, looks so cool. And you can see all these other different kind of uh, uh, visor colors. Look pretty standard to what we saw previously with uh, the CE season. So pretty much straightforward with that as well. Sadly though, no special uh, customization when it comes to your elites. They're all pretty much standard stuff there. And then for your ODST customization, you can select your Rookie, your Mickey, your Dutch, your Romeo. You have Buck with helmet on and off. You have Sergeant Johnson. You have Veronica with helmet on and off, things like that. So pretty standard customization when it comes to that. I also want to point out how cool these new nameplates are right here as well. They do look pretty nice and kind of fun additions like this bacon one. It's pretty funny. You got this Jurassic park nameplate this is a solid odst one right here as well they have like the 90s water cup from fast food restaurants which is so cool i know a lot of people are rocking that some sweet odst looking uh nameplates as well some great additions right here that looks awesome that looks awesome that looks awesome that looks awesome like it all looks so cool and now here's a really great quality of life change which wasn't mentioned at all but i think it's really cool so you go to the start screen you can actually access your challenge hub within the game itself to kind of keep track of everything that you're working yourself towards as well, which is a nice little quality of life improvement there. I'm really glad that 343 added this little addition here. No new seasonal challenges, which I'm seeing right here. Obviously, we might get actual new seasonal challenges once this actually does get released out to the public, but for right now, uh, it looks like it's just start standard season challenges, but that's actually a really great feature. I'm really glad that it got added in there. So what was my first impressions of playing ODST on PC on the flight? It's pretty great. I mean, it's great to play on mouse and keyboard. It's great to have the really high frame rate like we do in Halo 3. That carried over perfectly as well. No stuttering. It's super smooth. Uh, my only issue I ever came across while playing Firefight was occasionally you see like these random like jumps, like your characters, uh, like you're shooting against like grunts and stuff like that will just randomly just pop up in the air. And I think it might be something going on with uh, also your character as well, because I had it ha happen a couple times. There's only like within like two times within like four or four and a half hours of playing that like I just randomly died while playing ODST Firefight for whatever reason. I don't know why. I have a clip right here so you can see what I'm talking about where I'm just playing the game and then boom, you're just dead. Uh, this is a new bug that's not in the known issues right now, but a lot of people have been experiencing it. They have been reporting it. We will make a separate video on the known issues as well as we continue through this flight process. Another big change they brought in here was the bullet velocity update for the projectiles in Halo 3. If you guys don't know, what they're looking to do is try to parody the hit detection from classic Halo 3 into MCC, as right now the MCC is a little too unforgiving when it comes to your hit bullet registration. And so what they're doing is they bumped up the bullet velocity on the very first tick. If you guys don't know, we have 60 tick hertz servers. And so that very first tick, you actually will double the bullet velocity to hopefully have it a little bit straighter shot. It plays a little bit more like classic Halo 2, which is really great to see. Uh, that's something that I really want to have happen with the bullet velocity in Halo 3. And it looks like it's doing just that. I have a couple, I have a clip here. You can kind of see what I'm talking about with the bullet velocity, how I don't have to lead my shots as much within close range. Think of like a map like we're playing here on Amplified. If you're at that 50 yard marker, that's when you'll really start noticing that bullet velocity change. Anything up crop beyond that 50 yard marker, like if you're shooting from base to base, it'll be pretty standard like you have previously. But if you're at the 50 yard, you'll be actually experiencing double bullet velocity. So it's gonna be much better experience Experience, hopefully for playing the MCC. I think this bullet velocity change will actually help out PC players a lot. The ODST and Halo 3 on PC right now are playing pretty dang awesome in 
this flight, so what? when can we expect this flight to last? Currently, the flight will end at 10 a.m. on August 24th. So oftentimes, these are subject to change if they're looking to make any changes or additions when it comes to this flight, which I'm assuming they'll probably try to fix that random death in the firefight mode to hopefully get a chance to flight that and also hopefully get it to play a little bit better. But jump in, guys, play it if you can. It's a great time. Highly suggest doing it. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button, leave a comment down below if you've had a chance to experience the flight process. And if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me check out the videos on the screen right over here if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out